One of the more popular ways to do more with your compact utility tractor like this John Deere 1 series or this 3 series is by adding implements like a backhoe, log splitter, rotary tiller, and more. But before you do that, you want to add some attachments so that you can get the full benefit of your implements. Now, when installing some implements, maintaining overall balance is key to maximizing the efficiency and productivity of your tractor. So that's why it's important to compensate for the addition of the implement by adding either extra front weight or extra rear weight. Extra rear weight. Like what happened to Dave when he went on that donut binge last week. Hey, hey, hey. for breakfast this week, it's been nothing but grapefruit and caramel waffles. So it's all good. <laughs> well, sadly, crash diets don't work for your tractor. So you need to compensate by adding weight. One way is this quick attach weight. You can see it's securely mounted to the front of this tractor. And it's easy to add weights, too. You don't even have to be enormously powerful like Julie to do it. <laughs> All you do is add the weight to the rack, and slide it in like that. Each weight is 42 pounds, and a rack can hold several weights. That's a couple hundred pounds. Thank you, Professor Dave. Now, if you need to create balance for a front implement, like a loader, by adding weight to the rear... Eh, 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 don't even go there. We have a solution for you right over here. To improve stability so you can do more with your loader, you can attach a ballast box like this one. You can put anything heavy in this rugged attachment. We've added this optional 9-inch or 22-centimeter extension for even greater capacity. Ballast boxes are available in a variety of hitch configurations, including the iMatch Quick Hitch that you see right here. Many times, adding implements to the front or rear of your tractor will require you to add to your hydraulic power system as well. So if you're going to add a backhoe or a log splitter at the rear, you'll need John Deere's Power Beyond kit. Adding the Power Beyond kit back here makes this tractor even more versatile because you won't have to unhook front implements like a loader in order to run rear implements. By adding an electrohydraulic spool type selective control valve to this tractor right here, we made this tractor even more versatile. An electrohydraulic feature provides a smoother, quicker response to the operator's movements. It's operated right from the tractor seat by a joystick controller, which Dave loves. Feels like a fighter jet. <laughs> the third SCV also comes in non-EH. Many compact tractors can be equipped with field installed 4th and 5th electrohydraulic spool type selective control valves as well. They can be installed with or without the front loader because their functions are completely separate from the front loader. Also, if you've installed front or rear implements, chances are you're going to be kicking up a lot of mud, dirt, rocks, and debris. Protect yourself and your tractor from all that stuff by installing fender extensions like these. Check with your dealership to see if they have them for your tractor. So, there you go. Everything you need to keep your tractor properly balanced and provide plenty of power for front and rear implements. Talk to your dealer to find out more about these attachments.